Whether you're an artist, a gamer, or just a PC enthusiast, chances are that you really don't know the differences between the different type of panel technology used in the different monitors that are being sold today. So I thought, hey, you know what, I'd like to know more about this technology myself. So I went out there and uh, looked around, found all the information, I thought, you know what, I will share this information with my viewers as well. So today's video is breaking down the different types of technologies based on the current panels that are being sold around the world in different monitors. So with that said though, let's hop in and let's talk about the main three that are out there now. First up are IPS, or in-plane switching panels. Now these are generally considered to be the best overall LCD technology for image quality, color accuracy, and viewing angles. They are really, really suited for graphics and other applications which require accurate and consistent color reproduction. IPS panels offer the best viewing angles of any current LCD technology with wide viewing angles up to 178 degrees. These panels also have a higher price tag though going along with them, especially compared to VA and affordable TA panel LCD displays. The response time of IPS panels is not the fastest however, as they currently range from 4 milliseconds to 6 milliseconds, which is only slightly slower than current TN panels. Many gamers who play fast action games think that ghosting or motion blur occurs on all IPS panels, but motion blur only needs to be a concern when response times are of 7 milliseconds or higher. There are also a few different types of IPS panels. For example, there's SIPS, HIPS, EIPS, and PIPS. Now, all of these are relatively similar regarding the technology they use, though HIPS panels do have a slightly different pixel structure than the rest, and the majority of the EIPS panels only offer 6-bit color depth. Now, SIPS monitors are another variation of IPS. There are not many of these panels being made, though, as they have a much higher price point. But an SIPS panel can often be identified by a slight purple hue on the blacks when viewed from a wide angle. HIPS is a newer variation of SIPS, and it offers a different pixel structure that improves contrast ratio and lowers the pixel pitch to provide a better picture quality, and they're really considered to be the high end of IPS panels. Now, right in the middle of the road are VA panels. Now, these are vertical alignment technology. Now, these are SPVA, MVA, and are right in the middle of the road, like I said, of LCD panels. They offer better color reproduction and a wider viewing angle than TA panels, though, which are the lowest of the bunch, but they also have slower response times. They are very similar to SIPS on paper, however. They offer large viewing angles and good color reproduction, though not as good as IPS panels. The response times are generally generally worse than TN or IPS panels, however, and there have been reports of a few VA panels that suffer from input lag. So, so overall, VA technology is probably not the best choice for fast-paced gaming. VA panels have the advantage of higher contrast ratio compared to other panel types, however, which leads to better black levels. The biggest disadvantage of VA-based panels is color shifting. Color shifting is when the image viewed from one angle changes or shifts when viewed from a slightly different angle, making various uneven brightness levels across the display. And what's really crazy is this bothers many users to the point that they will not ever consider buying a VA-based panel at all. And there are other users who don't notice who aren't bothered by the color shifting whatsoever. Color shifts also cause a loss of shadow detail in dark scenes when viewed directly from the center of the screen. Now last up are TN panels. Now this stands for Twisted Pneumatic. Now these panels are the most widely used panel types in the manufacture of LCD monitors around the world. TN panels are also really cheap and offer excellent response times, making them perfect for fast-paced gaming. The response time of current TA panels ranges from zero milliseconds all the way up to five milliseconds. Unfortunately, the color reproduction, viewing angles, and contrast ratios of TN panels are the worst of any current LCD panel technology. So to wrap things up, SIPS, HIPS, Super PLS, AHVA, and other IPS panels are generally considered to be the best panels all around. They're great for gamers, they're great for people who do art and stuff like that or need the colors to match, but they're also usually the most expensive. Now, SPVA, MVA, and VA panels offer better color reproduction and viewing angles than TN panels, but they also have slightly worse response times. These are a little bit slower than TN or IPS panels, however, they do offer offer the best contrast ratio. Another caveat is they may suffer from color shifting, which will really suck if you see that, but a lot of users say they can't see it. 
Now, the most commonly used panels in the market are TM panels. Why? Because they're cheap and they have the fastest response times, making many gamers say, hey, these are the best panels for me. But they also suffer from inferior color reproduction, contrast ratio, and viewing angles. Unfortunately, though, most of the monitors made around the world feature these types of panels due to the fact that they are cheap. Now, the newer monitors that are coming out in the market, though, do feature complete 10-bit color depth, though, with TN panels, making them slightly more on par with IPS monitors in the current market. Now, I want to send a special thanks out to the people over at PC Hardware Help. I checked out their article, and they made some of this information very possible for me. So if you guys want to check out their article, we'll have a link down below to them. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. I hope this explains things pretty much out for you guys. Um, really, if you're a person who does more than gaming, which means you game, you actually work in Photoshop, you edit videos, you are definitely going to want to get yourself an IPS-based monitor. And as we saw a little while ago in a $2,000 monitor, they do have IPS monitors down at 4 milliseconds. At 4 milliseconds, you're not getting blur, you're not getting ghosting, you're not getting any of that stuff on, on, on that type of panel, even though a lot of people think that you know you do get that. It's not really happening. The panel that we got over here behind me, that was $2,000, it features an IPS panel, and it is just an amazing monitor. It can do anything on it. Now, if you're a person who does a little bit of editing, you do a little bit of stuff like that, you know what I mean, and you still want to have good color reproduction, then you want to be going probably with a VA-type panel, which is right in the middle of the road. And if you're just strictly a gamer, somebody who just games and really color rep you know, reproduction isn't actually you know, the total caveat of what you're doing, excuse me, the, the total like you know crown of what you're wanting to do then you'll probably be cool with getting a tn panel monitor and let's just face it they are pretty much the fastest like they said on the response times and they're relatively cheap they usually feature really good technology from amd you can find a lot of these monitors out there under 500 dollars that actually have all of amd's technology built into them so you get free sync right out of the box so hope this explained things i'll see you guys back here in the channel for more tech peace